Hello, this is video log two of my Tim project. Um, and what we're looking at at the moment is the whole ALU panel for Tim. The, each each part selection of Tim is done in panels. So he has the register panel, logic panel, ALU panel, and the tape reader panel. And I've just finished off the ALU plus supporting hardware panel. Hopefully, the lighting is a bit better on this one. Um, as you can see, it's it's quite a lot of a lot of wiring there, so that 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 took a good good day to do. But it's quite difficult to demonstrate. There's lots of inputs and outputs and stuff. But currently, I ha have have uh, let me get them to have the dip switches representing various inputs. So you have the A input, B input, um, the address for the commands, and the address for the bit number as is a serial serial ALU to save on relays. Each bit has to go so there's eight bit input that's been ser taken gun serially down with that address into the ALU, then processed then out back into the X register which is along here, which transfers back onto the data bus in there. And hang on if I'll just fire her up so I'm going to add at the moment so got some commands in there so A plus B both high press the execute button that equals naught get down to one there we go um, there we go do something that actually work this time um, OK, not A, so I've just got both inputs off. Not A, that's the output of the LU there, on. Uh, not A. And reg on address 1 loads into number 1 on the in the X register. Address 2. Set that. Load it in. Loads to the number address two on the X register, so you get the idea with that. So clear all that. Oh, sorry. Get my address wire. Uh, just clear that on the side. Um. Well, so once the all the addresses have been processed into the X register, it'll be loaded. It'll be loaded back through these set of relays here which is just a, um, a buffer and go into back into the address bus which the data bus even which will be coming out of here so there's eight different commands you can have obviously with the three bit um, not three bit address um, that's I'm not sure if you can see that but that's all the commands there all the addresses for all the commands. That's all the rest of them. And that's my current operating system. This is the um the circuit diagram. Um I'll upload a better circuit diagram in the description of this video. But you can safely get to see what's happening there. Um I can only do up to the first I can only show up to the first four because I can't bother to put any more LEDs in because they're not permanent. They'll go on the front panel, which is going to have all the outputs of all the registers on it. But on the whole, I, I'm just wiring up the register panel at the moment. I shall show you that. Ugh, try not to knock that on the floor. Um, the register panel at the moment. Oh yes, one more thing. Um, one minor problem I've encountered. I just pick this up again. Is if you open up all the addresses and load up all the bits, then the um, current pull. If you look at my, um, if you look at that. That's the current pull on it is almost pulling 2.4 amps and that's just the ALU so I'm going to have to have 
a fairly decent bit of cooling because all these relays get quite hot. So a lot of cooling and a decent power supply. As you can see, all the there's a lot of webbing of these black wires, which are all the negative line, and more webbing of thick red wires, which are positive line. Oh yeah, I should probably explain the colour system on my wiring. Uh, black, black and blue is negative. Uh, red is um, positive. Green is data, and these orange wires, which look irritatingly similar to the red, are um, all the control lines. Um, so yeah, the power. The problem is my power supply can only provide 2.4 amps, so I'm going to have to find a new one before I set it up properly. But I'm running out of video space, so I should probably call it a day. But look in the description. I'll, I'll, I'll add a link to all the uploaded images and various other supporting data for this, this computer. So yeah, see you on Videolog 3, which is hopefully coming soon.